My name is Georgio Sakalas. I am here with Will Vick at his property in Arkansas. Will, I'm here because I heard you experienced contact with an extraterrestrial. Can you tell us what happened? Well, sir, I was out here chopping wood when I looked up and saw this weird looking creature staring at me. At first I thought it was some crackhead that done went and come on my property and wrapped himself in aluminum foil. Snuck up here trying to freaking kill me or something. Then I realized he was the real deal. He told me he wanted to speak with one of our government officials. I let him know there weren't no intelligent life in the White House right now, so he got mad and had his people beam him back up. You know, Will, all these ancient mythologies and legends that we have of these gods descending from the sky aren't just a figment of our ancestors' imagination. Oh no, it definitely weren't no figmentation of my imagination. I had thrown me back about 12 malt liquors earlier in the day and had a pretty good buzz of going, but weren't near drunk enough to make me start seeing a little silver man. That's for darn sure. Is it possible that a similar creature existed a thousand years ago? Oh heck yeah. Well, just last week I caught the biggest dango alligator guard you ever did see. I bet he was about a thousand years old. That's so very interesting. The U.S. government have come forward recently confirming sightings of UFOs. Well, they best not be no dang regulators coming on my land. I don't need them snooping around looking for my steel or any of my crops that I got planted. Them crops is for Granny's glaucoma. What we've been taught by mainstream scholars is not the whole picture. You can't trust them dang mainstream scholars. Heck, they told my cousin if he were to go to welding school for two years, he could find a job making $40,000 a year. I told him didn't nobody make that much money. Now he's down there flipping burgers at the Quickie Mart, stealing candy bars to feed his family. I reckon he's doing all right for himself. The Incas say mankind was created. Do you believe that? Well, I don't think there's an old catfish crawled out of the water and evolved like they're saying is what happened. Last time I checked, stink bait wasn't on the dinner menu. That's so very interesting. Ancient astronaut theorists believe Native American legend sky gods came here with crystal skulls in order to jumpstart our civilization. Well, it could be the wife went to one of them spiritual healing parlors the other day because her sciatica was acting up. She said they was burning these funny smelling little sticks had crystals laying everywhere. It didn't do her any good though, but had they had one of them there crystal skulls lying around, maybe this she'd have got healed up. Hmm. This knowledge within us is hardwired. So if they're coming, it won't be panic because we came from them. Alien DNA is in our blood. Well, I don't know about all that. My daddy might tell you different. He always told me I kind of look like the milkman. Technically speaking, they gave us a push, a gentle push, in the right direction. We have experienced a paradigm shift. Well, I tell you right now, they best not be coming down here pushing on me. I'm not liable to whop a pot knot on their head. Mm. Well, that's just a theory. I tell you what, you go ahead and theory in one hand and crap in the other and tell me which one fills up the fastest. I found this carved stone face that suggests those of extraterrestrial visitors. Stones like this have been found as far away as Machu Picchu. Heck, that rock you got there ain't no carved stone face. I find them all the time down at the creek. I usually just throw them at the tadpoles and such. Listen, Mr. Stapagalopagus, the wife is in there cooking some cheesy mac. Why don't you go on ahead and chunk that old rock down the holler and me and you can go inside and get us a bite to eat. It'll be nice and cool in there. I stuck a box fan in the window this morning. Hmm. Okay.